more or less is expected. Hurricane Dorian has continued intensifying overnight and has reached Category 5 strength. Destructive 175 miles per hour equals 280 kilometers per hour winds with gusts exceeding 200 miles per hour equals 320 kilometers per hour have been reported by hurricane hunters in latest recon well above any model predictions in the past 12 to 24 hours. Central pressure is 913 millibars according to the latest drop sound data. Dorian is moving directly into the northern Bahamas and will likely result in widespread destruction from both violent winds and high storm surge. Latest NHC discussion update, data from an Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft indicate that Dorian has continued to intensify and now has maximum sustained winds near 175 miles per hour, 280 kilometers per hour, with a minimum central pressure of 922 MB, 27.23 inches. The eye wall of Hurricane Dorian is currently moving on to the Abaco Islands, resulting in a life-threatening situation with violent 175 miles per hour winds. The main hazards with this extremely dangerous and potentially destructive hurricane are wind gusts that will likely reach over 200 miles per hour, destructive storm surge with major damaging waves, morning satellite imagery, this and IR channel reveal a classic textbook shape of a major hurricane with completely closed thick eye wall surrounding a large eye. No signs of eye wall replacement cycle yet, Sadorian is expected to cross Bahamas at the same or even higher strength. Latest radar imagery of Dorian, scanned from the radar in Bahamas. An impressive thick closed eye wall, not something you would want to see if living in the Bahamas right now. NOAA Hurricane Hunter's flight has brought impressive data, penetrating the eye wall from all quadrants. Extremely impressive 180 to 200 miles per hour flight level winds have been recorded, while SFMR data indicate near 190 miles per hour surface winds, however, those have been adjusted based on drop sound measurements and have been readjusted to near 175 to 180 miles per hour. The future track of Dorian remains similar to the latest forecast, the hurricane will probably turn sharply north after it passes the Bahamas tomorrow. A huge amount of rainfall, 700 to 1,000 millimeters, is expected over the region as Dorian is likely to be slow moving through the next 24 hours before it turns north and accelerates. Stay tuned for further updates. Let's block ads. Why?